Yo, what is going on, guys? What is going on? So today is, as you know, just kind of a deep work day. Um, we actually start at a total balance of zero dollars. So now all the ten thousand dollars is in the piggy bank. It's off to the side. Um, the <clears throat> XFA just says zero dollars. The max drawdown is three thousand, and we are gonna go ahead and do our thing stepping into this so this is a super quick one um nothing to really talk about nothing to really um indulge on reading more books just started a new one um finished the thinking in bets by annie duke the art of impossible by stephen kotler and then just started the art of focus by dan co um that's about six hours so i should knock that one out here pretty shortly but I'll be listening to that the rest of the day, um, you know, just really locking in, deep work. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do on the weekends, you guys know, so there's nothing really fancy. Uh, let's dive into the word quickly, and let's go ahead and uh, call it a day. So this one will be super, super quick. All right, here we go. I know we're in Matthew. We're in Matthew. Come on in. No, I know we did that. My page got unfolded somehow. And now we're looking to, there it is. There it is. Being and doing. Don't look for shortcuts to God. The market is flooded with surefire, easygoing formulas for a successful life that can be practiced in your spare time. Don't fall for that stuff, even though crowds of people do. The way to life to God is vigorous and requires total attention. Be wary of false preachers who smile a lot, dripping with practice sincerities. Chances are they are out to rip you off in some way or another. Don't be impressed by charisma. Look for character. Who preachers are is the main thing, not what they say. A genuine leader will never exploit your emotions or your pocketbook. These diseased trees with their bad apples are, are going to be chopped down and burned. Knowing the correct password, saying master, master, for instance, isn't going to get you anywhere with me. What is required is serious obedience, doing what my father wills. I can see it now. At, at the final judgment, thousands strutting up to me and saying, Master, we preached the message. We bashed the demons. Our God-sponsored projects had everyone talking. And do you know what I am going to say? You missed the boat. All you did was use me to make yourself important. You don't impress me one bit. You're out of here. These words I speak to you are not incidental additions to your life. <clears throat> homeowner improvements to your standard of living they are foundational words words to build a life on if you work these words into your life you are like a smart carpenter who builds his house with a solid rock rain poured down the river flooded a tornado hit but nothing moved to th uh, that house it was fixed to the rock but if you use just my words in bible studies and don't work them into your life you are like a stupid carpenter who built his house on the sandy beach when a storm rolls in and the waves came up, it collapsed like a house of cards. When Jesus concluded his uh, address, the crowd burst into applause. They had never heard teaching like this. It was, the, it was apparent that he was living everything he was saying, quite a contrast to the religious teachers. This was the best teaching they had ever heard. Say it with me. If you know it, you are uniquely different. God took his time on you. You are one of one. I love you so much. Peace.